How to use tracking cookies. HTTP cookies, sometimes called browser cookies or web cookies, are a widely used tracking device for internet analytics. They consist of coded data used to identify unique visitors and his or her number of visits to a web page. However, while most cookies serve the same purpose, they do not necessarily have the same functionality. Even more, their utility may very well become obsolete in the next few years. Cookie types The following cookie types vary by location and lifespan. Their capabilities make them more useful in specific marketing and research scenarios. Transient, session, transient cookies, commonly referred to as session, group cookies in a single visit for analysis. They are set when the visit starts a session on a website and ends as soon as the user leaves the page. Sessions store data in the temporary memory of a computer in the form of a session identification code. This code will track clicks, browsing behavior, length of visit and sales conversions. Persistent, user, persistent or user cookies, have a lifespan predetermined by the website host. The tracking code is stored on a user's hard drive during their first visit and remains active until deleted or expiration, regardless of other sites the user may browse. User cookies conveniently remember website preferences including email addresses, passwords, and language. First party versus third party A first party is set directly by a web analytics tool through a domain. Many popular websites including Gmail, Yahoo, and Facebook require that a visitor enables first party cookies to use their site. A third party is set on the domain of the web analytics host rather than the actual site being visited. Third parties are most prevalent in cases where a web analytics host wants to track a user's behavior for marketing purposes. Third parties are less common than first parties because they're often deleted or rejected. Anti-spamware and malware programs flag them as a threat and auto-delete them in most cases. Thus, first parties are considered more effective, however, they do not have the ability to track history on other sites and therefore cannot be used in cases of ad retargeting as third parties can dot flash widely known as local shared objects, flash cookies function through Adobe Flash, a software installed on most computers. Flash cookies are growing in popularity because they cannot be deleted or disabled as easily as typical HTTP ones. They have the same tracking capabilities as a third party but also a lower deletion rate, making them more effective. What's next Although cookies are highly capable and serve as the primary tracking tool for many, innovations and issues in online tracking technology point to the emergence of new strategies. Do not track, an initiative to minimize the violation of privacy that cookies can pose, could become standardized policy in the near future. As a result, Google has made it well known that they are looking into alternate tools for behavioral research devices that don't infringe upon a user's right to privacy. In coming years, advertisers and website hosts will have no choice but to design new analytical devices that bypass the roadblocks meant to mitigate the effectiveness of cookies.